Are you sure you want to say this to the internet, Erica? Because it's now or never. No, actually, I can just edit it and just not upload it. So it's not now or never, but you know, for dramatic flair. What's up, everyone? Erica here, and I'm back today with another video for you. This is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take it. No, just kidding. Okay, I had to, sorry. So, today is a story time. I went commando to Disneyland. Yeah, it's not clickbait, it's a true story. So, I shared with you all on Instagram a TMI. Most of you know what TMI means, but in case you don't, I will leave it here. Too much information. I shared with you all over on Instagram some fun facts about myself and one of them was, hey, I went commando to Disneyland and I got so many responses from a lot of you like, Erica, what do you mean you went commando to Disneyland? Is there a story? Are you going to leave us hanging? And I was like, you guys want to know the real tea? And all you nasties out there were like, yeah, Erica, we need to know. Why did you go to Disneyland sin calzones, without underwear? Why? Why would you do that? A lot of you thought I was lying. Like a lot of you were like, is this true? I'm like you guys, come on. It's me. I give you the facts, okay? I don't need to lie to you. You know, once you're here, you're here for the truth. That was a little dramatic. But what I'm saying is, why would I lie to you? Why would I make this up? I'm gonna be telling you why. Why, Erica? Why? Why on earth? Why would I go to Disneyland Commando? You are about to find out. Something else I need to say. There is a plot twist. There is a secret that I did not say. Well, I guess it's not really a secret. There is a piece of information that I kept from you. So yes, I went Commando to Disneyland, but there is some additional information. A plot twist, if you will. The day, the day was May 9th, 2016. 2016. It was our one year wedding anniversary. So JD and I had spent our one year wedding anniversary at Disneyland. So we saved up and we stayed two nights at the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. Uh, we did do a couples massage there as well. It was just a phenomenal time. It was our both of our first time staying at the Grand Californian. It was kind of on our Disney bucket list, if you will. And we were both really happy to stay there. Like the experience was wonderful. We love it there. We've stayed there a couple of times since then and we really enjoy it. We love that you are able to access DCA through the Grand Californian. So we used and abused that, let me tell you. We were like, oh, here's our room key. We can go into the parks. Here's our annual pass. We can go into the parks. Ah, young JD and Erica. No baby, so carefree. We were just park hopping all day. It was just a great day. So naturally, because we were there to celebrate our one year wedding anniversary, like I had mentioned, we had gone to the spa. Uh, we were just doing things that were really special to us, like things that maybe we don't normally do, but we wanted to go out with a bang. Not go out, that sounds like our marriage is ending, no. We wanted to celebrate it with a bang. We just wanted to do something a little more than what we normally do. We did have annual passes then and we were going like once a month. So what could we do to make it more special? We did stay at the Grand Californian and we did take advantage of the couples massage that they had offered there. So special things, you know, to celebrate our anniversary. One of the special things being we had dinner reservations at the Blue Bayou that night. For those of you that don't know, the Blue Bayou is the restaurant in Disneyland that is inside the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction. So when you're on the ride, you're kind of leaving the dock. Uh, you look to the right and there is the Blue Bayou restaurant. You can sit there and actually see people on the boats like passing you by it's amazing uh i've been i've been to the restaurant three times and the food's amazing it's just such a great experience i remember the first time i ate there i was so full that i actually felt uncomfortable like i ate so much good food that uh, i felt like i literally needed to sit and have a break after eating so 
we had plans to go to this wonderful dinner, right? And I am the kind of person that if we are gonna be spending a short amount of time in the parks, like if we have a dinner reservation or if I'm going to film something or if we're going to take pictures or to Disney bound or anything like that, I don't mind dressing up because I know that I'm only gonna be in the parks for a short amount of time. I know that if, I, if I'm gonna wear high heels, it'll be for maybe like a couple of hours max, like I can handle it. So with all of that, I don't mind dressing up for a little bit, so keep that in mind. I wanted to dress up a little bit. JD and I both thought it would be fun to kind of get a little dappered up, if you will, to go have our anniversary dinner. We figured if we would have, you know, spent a lot of money to go to a really nice restaurant here in San Diego, we would have dressed up. So why not dress up to celebrate our anniversary dinner at Disneyland? So after spending a full day in the parks, we went back to the hotel, we rested, we showered, we got all cleaned up. So I'm pulling out all of the stuff to, you know, change into what we're gonna be wearing for dinner. JD's doing the same thing. I pull out the dress that I chose to wear. I brought, you know, I packed with me. So this dress that I'm referring to, it was a white long sleeve kind of lace looking dress. If I can find a picture of me in it, I'll try to include it. It's so old though, so. I remember buying this dress and I wore it to our engagement dinner and then I never wore it again. So I was like, this is a perfect opportunity. Let me throw this dress on. It's for our wedding anniversary. It could be like a cute little, I wore this then, I'm wearing it now kind of thing. Sure, whatever. So needless to say, it was white. The pantaloons I had brought to change into were not white, okay? So my options were wear rainbow printed underwear under a white dress, re-wear the underwear that I had been wearing all day in the parks, mm, no, or option three, go commando. Guess which one I did? Give you a hint, it's the title of this video. I decided to go commando and for those of you out there watching, I understand that there are just so many thoughts running through your head right now. Erica, why didn't you just wear what you wore to the parks? Why didn't you, I don't know, I don't know what you're thinking, but you know, we had planned on going to this dinner dressed cutesy, you know? JD is already in his thing. I'm sitting here like looking at this dress like what the heck am I gonna do? I don't know if showing rainbow underwear is better than just not wearing any. So I decided to not wear any, okay? You know how earlier in the story I was telling you guys it was so cool to walk back and forth and like park hop and we were going in and out of the hotel. So our plan was to leave the Grand Californian, walk through DCA, leave DCA, go to Disneyland and walk to the Blue Bayou restaurant. For those of you that are familiar with Disneyland, that's a lot of walking. A lot of walking when you're not wearing any underwear, mind you. It was very uncomfortable, you guys. I did have a lot of you guys respond to me on Instagram and say, girl, I do that all the time. And I was like, good for you, good for you. But I will tell you what, I don't do that all the time. So it was very uncomfortable for me. I don't know how you out there do that, but it was very uncomfortable. And let me tell you what, my dress went down to, I would say like lower mid thigh, like right above my knees, maybe a little higher than that. And I just felt so uncomfortable. I'm at Disneyland, the happiest place on earth with a bunch of kids, you know? They're shorter than me. And I'm walking around Disneyland with no underwear on. I'm like, oh my gosh, if Mickey could see me now, he would be so disappointed. I don't even want to know what Walt would think. I don't even want to know what he would tell me. He'd be like, Erica, get out. You have made this the nastiest place on earth. I will tell you, it was frustrating AF for me because I feel like I didn't thoroughly enjoy myself. I felt like Everyone in the world knew I was commando. <laughs> I kept fidgeting with my dress. Even when we sat down at the table, it, my dress was long enough to wear like, it was covering the seat, for those of you wondering. It was covering the seat, but I just felt so self-conscious. 
I feel like I didn't thoroughly enjoy myself because I was so worried if people could see or if it was like a dead giveaway. We were already getting more attention than normal because we were very fancily dressed up. I did air quotes and then I made up a word. I feel so whatever, roll with it. So because we were already getting the looks of like, oh, look at this girl wearing a dress to Disneyland. Oh, she's wearing heels like an idiot. And then I wasn't wearing underwear. So like it was, there was just a lot of shame involved in that night, okay? Now for the plot twist. I'm about to throw my husband right under the bus. Being that we were a year into our marriage, okay? I was like, you know what, JD? I always pack your bag for you. I'm always like, don't forget a belt. Don't forget socks, two pairs of socks in case we get on a water ride. Don't forget to pack your pajamas. Did you pack your toothbrush? And I was like, you know what? I've had it. We go to Disneyland once a month. I'm always bringing everything for you. You pack your own bag. Big mistake, huge. JD did not pack a change of underwear, you guys. JD also went to the Blue Bayou Commando. <gasps> did you see that one coming? So yes, we are the commando couple that was at the Blue Bayou on May 9th, 2016. I mean, I'm ashamed, but obviously I'm not that ashamed. I felt that it was okay for me to share this with the internet. So I really hope that all of you watching this are not completely judging me or shaming me. If you are, it's okay. Honestly, I judge myself still to this day, it's fine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this story time with me. I love to tell a story every now and then. It's fun for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a good laugh or two at uh, the discomfort that I felt. So um, I don't plan on doing it again, ever. Now I am very selective on the color choice of my undergarments. JD is very cautious of how many pairs of underwear he packs when we go on a vacation. So lesson learned. We had to learn the hard way, but lesson learned. If you enjoyed this video at all, if it made you laugh, if you can relate because you too have been a Disneyland commando, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any more horrifying, embarrassing stories like this one. As always, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope to see you back for the next one. And hopefully that one has nothing to do with my undergarments.